Welcome to the Vista Acres Homestead Channel. We'd like to thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe, turn on your notifications button, and if you can, give us a like button. And again, thank you for watching. All right, y'all, welcome to Vista Acre Homestead. We're glad you joined us today. And uh, Maggie and I, we've got something in common. Right, Maggie? Maggie and I got sunglasses. But well, we got something else in common too. Neither one of us has health insurance. Uh, after 18 years of employment and a big disagreement, I found myself out of a job. So, not a bad thing because the good thing Maggie says, I'm not gonna be traveling no more. She likes that. She's tickled to death, I don't have to travel no more. The other good thing for you all is, is we're gonna be putting out more YouTube videos because now I guess I'm a full-time YouTuber. And, uh, we really appreciate every one of you. We noticed one of our videos has got up to 300 and something views. Thank you again. We're tickled with that because we're just starting out. Uh, and again, thank you for it. All right, so we're gonna be remodeling this house and I'm gonna try to get a trailer done on that. We got the garden going on. We got my mother's house we're gonna be remodeling because we got a big surprise coming to you about what we're gonna do with this house. Y'all gonna be really excited about that. So, y'all, again, we really appreciate you watching. Maggie's getting a little bit restless. She's, uh, she's about being still about as long as Maggie can be still. But again, y'all, keep us in your prayers. And if you're going through this, y'all, let me assure you, uh, it will pass. It, it's just one of those things, and it will pass. So don't get too down and out about it. Just hang in there, and you'll get through it. Y'all, again, we really appreciate you and have a great day. We we'll lift a whole lot, we want plants to, okay, here's a good one. Oh yeah, some real nice ones. Huh? You did like, you picked like a kid then, didn't you? Like a young person. Well, I used to do when I was a kid. I always just got the ones that you could actually see real quick and easy. Huh? Yep. That's part of being young, ain't it? Fuzzy, what are you doing? Huh? Y'all, we have problems with Fuzzy the cat. Under the camera so you see the camera wiggling it's probably because of fuzzy the cat and then you get maggie chasing fuzzy the cat and then you got the camera laying on its side and now we're about to have problems with the black bears because fuzzy the cat has went in under the berries and maggie's thinking about it Probably. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you already picked a bowl about that size. How about a pie? Blackberry pie. Yeah, maybe. Fat free. I've ate raspberries at the store, and they just don't taste like those. Uh, you know, I know there's different kinds of raspberries, but they don't taste like those. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, this is, I'll tell you one thing I like about these, uh, what do you call them, Angie? Domestic blackberries? They don't have no uh, stickers. 
the sticky on them. What do you call them? See the vines? You can touch them. Yeah. Now these, these that's ready, right Angie? Raspberry's not quite plentiful as that. Yeah, I see a bunch right here I left. Yeah, I don't want to hurt the vines none. show y'all how smart Maggie is. Now Maggie, Maggie, you looking? Now Maggie, let's go get the S-T-I-C-K-S. Let's go get the S-T-I-C-K-S. Come on. Right, she's gonna go. Let's go, Maggie. Let's get your S-T-I. Okay. Let's see, that's scary. Because she knows she, this is this is Maggie's favorite thing is throwing sticks. So I'm gonna put the camera on the tripod and I'm gonna take y'all out with me. Alright, you ready Maggie? Swear Maggie. Okay, y'all, I want to share with you how Angie and I figured out or saw that Maggie could spell the word stick. Is I was uh, sitting there, and if, if I ever said, hey, Angie, I want to go out and throw sticks with Maggie, she's like a little uh, child She's you, that you tell, hey, let's go to the store. They don't forget it. They say, I thought we was going to the store. Well, Maggie's that way with the sticks. If you mention sticks, go throw the sticks, she will she will not let me rest until i get up and go out and throw sticks with her so one day i told angie i was thinking about it i told angie i said i'm thinking about going out and throwing s-t-i-c-k-s -I, I spelled it to her sticks with maggie and she she looked at me and then she she went straight over to that buffet jumped up on it and started acting she she wanted her sticks and she wanted me to go out and throw sticks with her angie and i looked at both we looked at each other like wow didn't see that coming so i had a friend of mine tell me he said she keeps getting so smart you're gonna have to watch what you say around her just like you do with children also but hope you enjoy her uh, running and getting her sticks and hope you enjoy this footage
red car, I think it's a red car. All right, y'all, I'm gonna thin the okra. I told y'all, uh, you followed the videos, I bet you I would scatter too many seeds and then I would miss some spots, and that's about what I did. I uh, Googled old Google, and Google said about 12 inches apart. Here comes Maggie, Maggie. Maggie always gets them. Maggie, I'm gonna mark Trying to get a nap in and then Maggie just being Maggie.
Hey y'all, this is a good friend of ours that we've made through the channel. I uh, actually bought the windows to the greenhouse from him. Uh, this is some of his baby goslings and sh they sure are cute. Can't wait till Mother Goose, our Mother Goose, hatches some of hers. This is my friend up in North Carolina. His garden really looks good. He sent me, actually sent me these pictures about a week or so ago, so he's really uh, gathering in what he worked hard to put together. It really looks good. Hope y'all enjoy some of these pictures. And hopefully in another month or so, Angie and I will uh, we'll get some pictures that look this good. Uh, we still got to put beans out. We haven't got to that yet, so hopefully we'll get that done. And again, hope y'all enjoy these pictures. Hey y'all, this is a really good friend of mine up in Kingsport, Tennessee. This is a Halloween character and he has an owl, I think he told me, and he also, it shoots like lasers. And he says it looks like a laser show at night if you cross into his garden. But he said the good thing about it, he says the deer have been scared away. He's not having a deer problem anymore. It's really funny. Hope y'all get a kick out of it. 